Tomorrow is Juneteenth Day. It is the national commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. Julia Fellow joining us live with a preview of everything to come at tomorrow's parade and festivities. Julia. That's right, Courtney and Steve. The parade route actually starts tomorrow right here at 19th and Atkinson. This is the 44th annual event in the city here, and leaders tell me they plan a special focus on our area's youth this year. It is a celebration that marks an important moment in our history that touches Milwaukee and beyond. You know, in 1865, after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation and the 13th Amendment, these were the documents that let the slaves know they had been freed. Leaders with the Northcott Neighborhood House, a nonprofit outreach center, are working closely with police to make this a safe event. Five years ago, we've had significant decreases in arrests and disorderly behavior, and that's really a, a testament to the good working relationship that we have with the Juneteenth Committee. We've never had a shooting, a killing, or a stabbing at Juneteenth Day. We've had some things happen around the surrounding areas of Juneteenth Day. Juneteenth is a really good family event. And to make a special impact on our youth, 100 men will be walking around wearing mentor t-shirts, asking young people about the concerns in their lives. We want them to just step back and just think for a minute. Say, wow, you know, this person came up and honestly and sincerely, they seem to care about me. There will also be a job fair that includes a transitional job program that will help anyone, even those who just got out of the criminal justice system. After the parade, the celebration will take place on MLK from Burleigh to Center. Reporting live on Milwaukee's north side, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. A big day planned. All right. Thank you, Julia. The